Talk about it before me. No. I, I got to get my nervous energy out. Okay. Do a and dance. it's recording, so. And introduce me. Oh. Coming to stage, <laughs> it's our debut comedian, Michael Lyle. Willie. <laughs> and then we'll into the first bit. It's perfect. <laughs> it's amazing, you know. A lot of people mess up my last name, but you know, I've had a lot of nicknames my whole life. And in grade school, I was Free Willie. Great movie. Junior High, Big Willie style. One of the best albums. Am I right? And now my nickname is why haven't you given us grandkids? <laughs> Didn't land. Okay. That one would land. It Keep landed it at it, it landed at the bar. Keep it moving. No, it lands. I'm too dumb. I have to think about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so uh, I, you know, I, I put on about 15 pounds during the pandemic, right? Anybody else put on some weight? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Rough. Yeah, Watching no. Netflix at home, ordering Uber Eats. It's rough, you know. But I took off the weight recently. You know, I'm, I'm out there running. Um, I'm walking my friend's dog. Um, so. I've, I've taken off the pandemic weight, but now I have all this existential dread weight from the previous decade I have to get rid of. So that's, you know, my next thing I'm gonna be working on. Um, dread is good. It, it is? Yes. All right, thank you, heckler. <laughs> so, uh, anybody on dating you, come any, on, man. Anybody on dating Oops. apps? Anybody on a dating app? Yeah. Right. Tinder. 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 Hinge. Hinge. All of the above. All of the above. Ask for that. Good for you guys. Uh, we need, you know, some positive energy. Uh, I've, you know, on Hinge, and they recently added some features. You know, there's vaccination status, pronouns, sexual identity, all important. We need those things on there. What, what, what I'm waiting for is the how self-aware am I part of the app. You know, like, example, I'm a six, but I could be a seven if I worked at it. And I know that. I know that because I'm self-aware. Decade on dating apps will do that too. <laughs> Anybody want to hear some stories? I got amazing stories. Go on, All right. right, bring the stories. So Tender, six years ago, meet this uh, woman. She wants to get a drink. All right, uh, what time? She says 11 to three. If a woman does not give you a hard hour to meet, that's a red flag. So I looked up the club Archibald's. Wait, why have I heard that before? Strip club. <laughs> she didn't want a date. She wanted my money. <laughs> Scarred me for life. No longer on Tinder. So, moved on to Hinge and uh, had some experiences on there. And I inadvertently actually used Facebook as a dating app, which I didn't know you could do. Um, went to a party with some coworkers. Um, Performed my. <laughs> hang on. Performed my. That's what someone in the crowd is going to say. Right, you're Just right. Like, I have to. No, I have to no, adapt. No, I have to adapt. This, right? I have to adapt. Hi, Cole. Um, I am. That's what I'm doing. He's doing. Um, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, get, I'll talk about stalkers later. Don't you worry. <laughs> uh, so Facebook. This woman messages me, and you know she saw my white boy dance moves at the party. The Latinas, they can't resist it. I mean. Who could? <laughs> Who could? This is a six we're talking about here, right? So Nicely done. she messages me and she uh, only speaks Spanish. She's from Guatemala. Luckily, I speak it. And we, we set up a date. And so she shows up in an Uber. But uh, a little boy gets out of the car first that I didn't know about. So we had a nice family dinner together as our first date. <laughs> A little boy spoke English, so you know he asked me a few questions. You know, maybe he was a translator. He was. <laughs> he said, uh, "Are you Santa Claus?" My, <laughs> my beard. My beard was a little longer back then, you know. And you know, can I? Can you buy me a bicycle? Oh. Was this the COVID weight? Oh, ah, this is pre-COVID, sir. Oh, pre-COVID. Dread weight. I know. This is the dread weight. So you know, he says, uh, "Can you buy me a rocket ship?" I'm just, I'm waiting for him to ask for a wedding ring for his mom, you know, first date. Why not? So, uh, no longer on uh, Facebook as a dating app. <laughs> so I moved on from those, but, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm still memorizing. I'm trying to remember where I go after this. Uh, That's why you're doing it. You're right. This is the 
perfect practice. You are in four minutes right now. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so uh, where do I go from this? Sorry. Oh, so um, to clear my mind later this summer, you know, long pandemic, rough, rough time with these dating apps. You know, I'm gonna do this trip to California and um, my friend Mandy, oh, I don't have to say her name, my bad. My friend said, my female friend said, working, working it out, working it out. My female friend said, you know, you, you posted your itinerary um, for the whole trip on Twitter. Aren't you concerned someone's gonna stalk you the whole way? And honestly, I welcome the stalkers at this point, you know? Like, that's a level of commitment I can't get on the dating apps. Like, if a stalker wants to see you, they're gonna see you. You can't find that level of commitment out here, you know? I appreciate that. I appreciate that, honestly. Yeah, it's rough out here. Um, so, I've been doing these cemetery walks to clear my head as well, and uh, just trying to look for inspiration for my epitaph, you know, the one-liner on your gravestone. And I, uh, I found some Bible verses, I found some poetry, but there was one that really spoke to me. It said, he was tired and lay down to rest. This side of 30, that, that sounds about right. Uh, did you read that on my back while I was sleeping? <laughs> that was you, sir? <laughs> um, That's a good setup, by the way. So I was walking the other day, and I realized, you know, I'm going to need, like, a tree that's huge to be buried under, a lot of shade, because I just know I'm going to sweat in the coffin. <laughs> it's going to be bad. And I want to actually, you know, look good for all the souls in purgatory. I'm, I'm not even aiming for heaven, you know? I'm just trying to make it there. So, um... In closing, uh, none of these dating app stories have been embellished because they need no embellishment. They're like, uh, you know, George Costanza talking to the board. You know, this is just my life as a short, stocky, slow-witted, bald man. Thank you, that's my time. That's a six. Yeah. Ah, I gotta work on that. I gotta work on that.